Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Further Beyond Gaming, my name is Cody GT, and in today's video we're going to be talking about how MiHoYo is trying to extremely bait you right before version 4.1 drops for the global side. And we're going to get into the details about that in just one second. Now, if you do enjoy today's video, go ahead and drop a like. It's greatly appreciated and it helps out the channel tremendously. And if you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and consider subscribing for more content like this and much more in the future. And remember to hit that notification bell. Also, when we're talking about the information today in today's video, this will be from the Discord. Remember, a link to the Discord will be in the description below. Go ahead and click that link and join the Discord today. Also, huge shout out to Isaac Newt B for this information that we're going to go over here in just one second. Now, before we do go over uh, what the video is about today, I just wanted to take a second to really thank each and every one of you that did come out to the live stream last night. It was absolutely amazing. You guys are incredible and extremely hype. Um, I forgot how much fun live streams truly are, and I do want to get back into it more often. Um, so I hope I can do one this Sunday for you guys. Now, this live stream was unannounced, so if you were not able to make it, I do understand. Trust me. Um, it was an unannounced live stream. I just was, I had the time available. <laughs> so I'm like, let me go ahead and quickly do it. And. By the way, for you guys that were in the live stream, uh, we were trying to get into Red Lotus um, at the very last second, only had about an hour left. And for all of you that helped me, um, thank you so much with the team comps and you know the gear that I should be putting on and what I should be doing. Uh, thank you so much because we actually did go ahead, or we actually did go ahead and get into Red Lotus. So uh, thank you guys so much. That was absolutely incredible. Um, and once again, you guys are absolutely incredible. It was a hype live stream and I had an amazing time. And like I mentioned, hopefully I can go ahead and do that again this Sunday. So be on the lookout for that. And hopefully I'll make an announcement this time before just <laughs> going live out of nowhere. So once again, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. It means a lot to me. Now, with that all out of the way, I uh, do apologize about that little diversion there. We're going to go ahead and get into today's video, and that is um, talking about how MiHoYo is trying to bait you uh, before version 4.1. Um, so this was a game announcement, and like I mentioned, huge shout out to Isaac Newby in the Discord for this information. Uh, this looks like it's coming from the Honkai Impact 3 Twitter, um, and this is HQ's special expansion available. Now, let me tell you something about this expansion that's going to be coming here um, very, well, not very soon. Um, no, yeah, very soon. <laughs> Excuse me. It's it's a bait. It, it really is because they so MiHoYo, we've talked about this before, is a business and they do business very well. They know how to make money. So they know how hype the Ursha of Thunder May is uh, and they know how much people are looking forward to her. And so they did this with that prior knowledge in hand, if that makes sense. So getting into it during the event period. S rank battle suits Bright Knight, Bright Knight Durandal, extremely hype, Stingy and Nymph, Mihoyo so <laughs> Mihoyo smart. They're really smart. They know how they know how many people have been waiting for Stingy and Nymph to drop uh, or come back. They they know how how many people, you know, say lays their waifu. They they know that. They they have that understanding. And Lightning Empress, which is eh, they they probably yeah, Lightning Empress, okay. Um, become expansion targets in succession with increased drop rates. Okay, now I, I understand why they did Lightning Empress for the Awakening uh, for the Earth of Thunder. Me, me, oh, smart. Okay, moving on. Special focus apply events for the expansion targets will also be available concurrently. Stay tuned for announcements for focus supply schedule and contents. So the supply schedule, as you can see, this is all dropping right before version 4.1 is supposed to drop for the global side so supply schedule july 3rd through july 17th that is the up battle suit drop rate for bright knight durandal you have swallowtail phantasm in there umbral rose sin hunter and luna kindred and then the 17th through the 31st so as soon as this one leaves the next one is coming through and that is the up drop rate for stingy and nymph flame sakitama valkyrie pledge snowy sniper and valkyrie blade strike and then as soon as that one leaves then you have the 31st through august 6th where right at august 6th i believe 
If I'm not mistaken, I believe it's going to be right around August 8th is when version 4.1 should drop for the global side. You have the up drop rate for Lightning Empress, Divine Prayer, Valkyrie Sipiter, Night Squire, and Shadow Dash. So, MiHoYo, right before version 4.1 is supposed to drop, is trying to get you to spend your crystals to get one of these Valkyries which all three of them are absolutely fantastic lightning empress you know maybe on the lower side but once again you can obtain her uh for the awakened version you know for the ursha of thunder may which is not you know totally necessary but they threw that in there for that and then you have stingy and nymph they understand how hype stingy and nymph is they understand how many people uh Sele's, you know that's their waifu that they want to go for how how long people have been waiting for stingy and nymph to come back around so they can go ahead and pull for her they understand that. And then Bright Knight Donandal, um, I, I don't think as many people are as hyped for Bright Knight Donandal as Tenji and Nymph, which is okay. It's understandable. Um, but from my own standpoint and experience, I think Bright Knight Donandal is right up there. Um, you guys seen my last video with the tier list. Um, I put her right up there, and I think Bright Knight Donandal is a bait because she's absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic um my most favorite valkyrie she's great she's really great so those are two extremely good valkyries i have them both in the s plus tier in my tier list video lightning empress a really really good um again so for the awakened version for the earth chef thunder may is the reason i could see them putting their her there so this is definitely definitely a bait um uh, expansion supply concurrent expansion supplies that are supposed to come they're trying to in one of these supplies to get you to spend your crystals somewhere whether it be on the stingy and nymph or the bright knight Durandal or on the lightning Empress. they're trying to get you to spend your crystals somewhere in there and then i am sure that the focus supply for the applicable gears for these valkyries are going to be running during that time as well so for example the applicable gear for bright knight Durandal will probably be running right with the july 3rd through the july 17th for the focus supply so you spend your focus supply cards same with stingy and nymph now that one might that one is very tempting for me because um i don't have all of stingy and nymph's applicable gear when it comes to the stigmata set i do have the weapon which i think is the most important part but i don't have the stigmata set so that is tempting even for myself um, and then of course Lightning Empress, they'll probably have Mag Typhoon there. Um, so for the guys who are not going to go for or are not able to go for the Airship of Thunder Maze applicable gear, they may just settle for the Mag Typhoon, whatever the case may be, maybe run the Monet or the Goman Stigmata set for that part right there. It's really hard to say, but uh, that would be my estimation. Um, that, that would be what I would guess is to, you know, go ahead and come, but yeah that this is definitely a bait banner for sure 100 percent uh bait banners i should say because <laughs> there's multiple um and so mihoyo smart they they run a good business and they know exactly what they're doing uh, but in the comments down below i would love to get your guys's opinion on what you think um, about this and what you think about these banners and if you are actually going to go ahead and pull um, or if you're going to be saving your crystals for version 4.1 which like I mentioned, I believe it's a month and about a week away from today's date, which is uh, July, I believe today's <laughs> July 3rd, or July, I, I believe it's July 3rd today, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> no, today's July thir uh, 2nd, excuse me, today's July 2nd, because 4th of July is Saturday. Anyways, um, so yeah, let me know what you guys are doing in the comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below as well. Um, but just a quick video. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I'll leave you with the rest of this gameplay, though, of the Earth of Thunder May. Um, and, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, and like I mentioned, I will hopefully try and live stream this Sunday. And hopefully I'll make a um, post or an announcement in the community tab of my channel. Uh, so make sure you are periodically checking that um, as I do post there randomly. And also remember, if you enjoyed today's video, drop a like. And remember, if you're new, subscribe so you can stay up to date with the videos that I do drop. Discord uh, link in the description below. Uh, but with all the plugs out of the way, I'm going to get out of here, guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. And until next time, my boys, until next time, it's your homie Cody GT, and I'm out.